Ian Baker Finch, you're ready with a glass of champagne in your hand. You're the Open champion. Has it sunk in yet, precisely what you've achieved? Um, <laughs> I, I don't know. It's the first time Wayne Grady's ever bought me a glass of champagne. <laughs> <laughs> Normally it's a Forex or a Foster's or something, but <laughs> cheers, Wayne. Um, Hasn't really sunk in, no. has it? <laughs> it feels pretty good. It feels great. Has it also sunk in the way you play today, out in 29? What was the trigger for form like that, um, a start like that? I just uh, tried to focus on what I had to do, and that's exactly what I did. I'd been playing well all year. I've been playing well since the British Open last year, and uh, um, with uh, you know Dave Ledbetter and Mitchell Spearman you know, helping me throughout the year and just telling me uh, you know what to do and helping me with my swing and. Uh, Pete Bender out there today on the bag with me just made it so easy for me, just kept me relaxed, kept me focused, and I could play like I had been playing all year. I didn't uh, even think at any stage that I was three under, four under, five under, whatever, or that I was so far in front. I was just playing golf like I have been lately, and uh, that was what was so nice about it. That obviously, the putts all went in early, and that was a bonus, but... Uh, <laughs> Were you able to play? relax at all, especially on the latter no. stages of the back nine? No, I um, I was, uh, I guess, four or five in front on the front nine, and then I saw a leaderboard going up ten. I'd made, actually, what I think probably the only bad swing until the last hole all day, and I left it in the trap at ten, and I was making bogey, and uh, I noticed Fred Couples was five under, and I thought uh, with the two par fives left and his length that he was a chance of, you know, finishing eight or nine, so I never really got complacent or, or uh, tried to not keep going I was I was trying to hit it with with some sort of uh, thought not to not to be stupid I didn't have to be aggressive but I, I never was aiming at middle of green so I was going for it all the time despite all you've achieved in the game down the years did you feel a need still to prove yourself a winner still prove yourself a champion is that what you've done today yes I think so um, I've had a lot of chances and uh, you know this is this is the big one this is the one that you dream about. It's great. Great day for Australia as well. Great mm -hmm. day for you. Thank you. Many congratulations. Cheers.